Good day, good day. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks. How's it going? I'm doing well. And yourself, Josh? Doing good. Awesome, awesome. Um, so today it's a special episode. We're recording from uh, Cebu, Philippines. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's the first time for us here. And I'm really excited to get started. I thank you guys for joining us. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, this is Multifamily Investor Nation, um, Monday Meetups. I'm your host for today. This is Carlos Di Reynoso. And today's topic is uh, going to be great. It kind of picks up on where we left off on raising capital, and we'll take it to the next level. Uh, it's going to be securing capital, and it's a little bit different than just raising capital, because capital, in this sense, what we're trying to do is um, grow the relationship with the investors, if you will. And uh, we'll give just a few more minutes for everyone to show up. Um, Joseph, also, thank you for joining us today. And um, we'll be getting started here in just a few seconds. Thank you, guys. It was kind of tricky to join. I needed a, uh, I had to actually log into Zoom. And it turns out I wasn't even registered for the event. I had just added it to my calendar. Uh, maybe other people are going through that as well. Yeah, I get that sometimes. So uh, were you able to go through meetups.com uh, or? Yes, I had to go. I had to click around a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, hopefully next time it'll be easier. Um, what I try to do is just uh, put the link where you could go straight into the Zoom. Um, and if that's not the case, then I'll I'll make sure to talk to admin. And we'll make sure to work on that because, yeah, we want to try to make it as easy as possible for everyone to log in. All righty. And thank you all for joining us. Again, this is a Multifamily Investor Nation uh, Monday Meetups. I'm your host for today, Carlos Di Reynoso. I'm actually your host every day, uh, but it's a pleasure to have you guys. And thank you so much for joining us. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. What I'd like to do is, as we get started, is have everyone introduce themselves briefly, kind of tell us a little bit about uh, your current situation in multifamily. And, you know, if you're not in multifamily yet, but are looking to get started, you know, kind of just let us know what you're doing professionally, um, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, show of hands, whoever would like to go first, uh, please go ahead and introduce yourselves and let us know what you're currently doing in the multifamily space. Would like to go first. I, I can go ahead and go first. My name's Elliot. I'm not doing anything currently in the multi uh, family space, but what I do professionally is I am a referring partner. So I help people get into a position to be able to invest in something like this. So if that's something anybody else is here in, or is interested in, I would love to chat, but here I am just learning. I got my pen and paper out and I'm excited. Awesome. I, I appreciate that. Again, your name again? My name's Elliot. Elliot Rodriguez. Elliot. Elliot Rodriguez. Sounds good. And Elliot, your name sounds familiar now that you that you mention it. So uh, where are you currently at? I'm up in Alpharetta. Sure. Alpharetta. Cool. So yep, yep, Georgia yep, yep. people. Awesome. Love it. Um, and uh, thank you for that introduction. And it's great to know. I'm actually an agent as well. So I'm a, a licensed agent for over... Gosh, I don't want to give away my age, but over <laughs> 24 years now. Um, so um, right now I'm currently in a capacity where I also refer uh, business. So, I mean, if I could refer someone to you, I, it'd be my pleasure. And That's also, fantastic. yeah. And then, so I'm, I'm actually transitioning more into the, you know, uh, as a commercial agent these days. Um, but it's always good to, you know, to touch base with uh, other referring agents and uh, hopefully we could do some business in the near future. So thank you for that introduction. Absolutely. I think uh, a conversation with the lady that I know, her name is Tracy Ferguson. I think a, a conversation between you and her might behoove you, but I'm just sit back now. I appreciate that. And what I'll do too, if, if you guys would, and I forgot to, my apologies. Um, it's actually five, uh, it's actually 6 a.m. here uh, where I'm at. I'm actually in Cebu, Philippines. A beautiful island in the Philippines. And, you know, it's, it was kind of hard to, I'll be honest, I had to wake up like at 4.30 uh, to be here, but it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. And I'm, you know, I'm really looking forward to this. 
And uh, who would like to go next and a quick introduction? I can go next. Uh, so my Joshua, name, go ahead, please. Yeah, I'm in uh, Cartersville, Georgia. Uh, currently a business owner looking to kind of grow a little bit, get into the real estate world. Uh, and it's it's the age old thing, you know, do you have a deal first or, or the funding first? So I'm trying to just uh, get out there and learn as much as I can right now. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's kind of, uh, you, you mentioned a great question is like, which comes first, right? Uh, excuse me while I let someone in here. And so, yeah, basically there's no like set rule, right? So if you have a deal, what you'll find is if you do have uh, the buyers aligned and everything else, is that you could go from, I just found a deal to I'm under contract on a deal and we're closing in 90 days. That's very possible. And then also if, you know, if what you're doing is, you know, raising, raising the, the funds for the deal, um, then what you'll have is you'll have like a trust fund, if you will. And then you'll have people bringing you deals and then you could take that to the next level. So it, you know, and another thing that's important there is you want to find someone who complements your skill set. So if you're the deal, uh, if you're the person uh, sourcing deals, then it's good to try to partner up with someone who's got the capital. Um, so that's great. And uh, what business are you in? Uh, currently, dog uh, training. All right, great, great. Um, yeah, what's? Uh, go ahead. Well, uh, so it's a it's a partnership. The wife does the training. I'm more of the um, operations uh, behind the scenes, all that kind of stuff. A lot of great, great. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. I, I mean, I'm a I'm a dog animal a lover. Um, actually, here in the Philippines, there's so many cute dogs that I'm like, I want to adopt a dog and bring them home because they're so cute. Uh, you know, a lot of them are just walking around. But um, yeah, I'm totally with a total uh, dog person. And um, maybe we could talk about that in the near future because I'm looking to get a puppy soon. So <laughs> that's way yeah. cool. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. All right. So thank you for that introduction. And anyone else would like to go and introduce yourselves? Uh, we're kind of doing brief introductions, uh, letting us know uh, who you are and what you're currently doing in multifamily space. And um, oh, yes. And if you would, um, please enter your contact information in the chat box below. Um, that way we could all kind of network together. Uh, and I will go ahead and do mine here. Let me see if I could find it here. Okay. Um, okay, if you'd like to go next, uh, please just go ahead and unmute yourself and give us a brief introduction on who you are and what you're currently doing. I can do a brief uh, introduction if you can hear me. Yes, uh, please go ahead. Okay, so yeah, I live in Midtown, uh, Georgia right now. And we have uh, seven rentals, combination of um, short-term, long-term, and mid-term. And, and we're looking to get into multifamily this uh, year to just really grow our portfolio. Nice. I, I like that you're versatile and doing a little bit of everything in the in the space. That's really cool. And um, what is your name again? Joseph. Joseph. Okay. Nice, Joseph. Uh, thank you for your introduction. And uh, yeah, so one of the things that I like to preach in 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 this show and this meetup, if you will, um, is that you could easily go from, you know, even Airbnb um, all the way into 200 and 300 unit properties. You know, obviously, you definitely need connections. You definitely need the right uh, team members, uh, but it's definitely a possibility. So uh, kudos to you and what you're doing uh, in this space. And uh, anyone else would like to go ahead and introduce yourselves? Um, I'll give a maybe another minute for someone else to possibly raise their hand and introduce themselves. And uh, what I'm trying to do in the meantime is uh, pull up my um, my contact info. Bear with me for a quick second here. Hmm. I usually have it already pulled up. I'm gonna have to go back to it. All right, I'll I'll get back to it. So one more thing. Um, for those of you who give us your email address, 
let us know if you'd be interested in receiving a video um, webinar. It's called How to Get Started in Multifamily Investing. Um, it's a great webinar. It's free. Um, it's kind of like a bonus that we share just for showing up. And uh, it's definitely helpful. It'll get you started in the right direction, uh, kind of give you some quick tips on how to get started. So um, definitely let us know if you're interested in that. And we'll go ahead and send it to you. Now, either myself or someone from the multifamily investor team uh, will be reaching out to you. So definitely uh, leave your contact information in the uh, chat box. Thank you guys for that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started uh, with the meetup and the content. So today's content, as we mentioned previously, is going to be securing capital. And it's not the same as raising capital. So it's a little bit different. Uh, but it all goes to the point of getting the money ready uh, to purchase your deals. Um, let me see the other thing. If you uh, please stick out, uh, stick around for till the end. We're going to have breakout rooms and another opportunity to network. Uh, right now we have a few guests, but throughout the meetup, uh, others arrive, and uh, the meet the excuse me the uh, breakout rooms. Uh, tends to get uh, pretty big and a lot of the questions get answered. So I hope you'll stick around for that. All right. So this uh, meetup has been brought to you by Multifamily Investor Nation. Uh, this is their meetup. Um, I am one of the co-organizers. There's 54 total meetups throughout uh, the nation. Um, and this one is in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're coming at you virtually. This meetup was originally in person. And obviously, after COVID, we went virtual, and we've been virtual ever since. Uh, we are going to be doing, in the very near future, some in-person events as well that I want to put together for, for you guys uh, to benefit from. So thank you for that. And uh, let's see here. All right, I just went back too far. All right, so like I mentioned, I am here in uh, the Philippines. Uh, this has been a business vacation that I've been on. Uh, for the past, I want to say two weeks now, started July 13. It did take two days to be able to make it to my destination. Um, so I started in Thailand. Um, this picture with on the left, it was kind of really a great opportunity. The children were on a field trip and I happened to be walking by uh, doing my 5k walk for the day. <laughs> And they're like, uh, American, American. <laughs> so the kids pulled me up to the side and they decided that they wanted to take a photo. So definitely a great opportunity to have a photo shoot with these children. They were amazing. We were able to talk for a little bit. And I kind of talked to them a little bit about multifamily just to get their, you know, plant the seeds, if you will, and get their brains uh, working on, on the topic. And then here's uh, myself drinking a coconut. That coconut had more... <laughs> more water than I've ever had inside a coconut. It felt like I was drinking a gallon. It was awesome. And um, that was in the beaches of, it's called Pattaya in Thailand. And also if you see this temple, that's the uh, golden temple, the Buddha, the Buddha golden temple. And here's my view from the hotel of the temple on the right-hand side, you can see the arrow. And I say this, you know, so kind of add a little, you know, uh, background to it. So you guys can know why, you know, I'm coming at you uh, from the Philippines. And the rest are just some photos, you know, um, here at the bottom right, you can see the Golden Buddha. Um, so great experience. If you definitely get an opportunity to travel to these countries, I highly recommend it. Uh, the dollar goes further, so you could do a lot with your money. And also, um, you know, great times to be had and a lot of different tourist attractions uh, to, to experience. All right, uh, that being said, the announcements, like I mentioned earlier, please let us know your email address and we'll be sure to get you that free webinar video. Uh, please uh, feel free to follow me on um, YouTube. And my YouTube channel is Carlos D. Reynoso. This recording uh, will be uh, edited and posted on my YouTube channel. Um, so, you know, you could not only see yourselves in this meetup, but you'll be able to go back to previous meetups. And what I like to do um, is go back to, you know, like other shows, if you will, or other podcasts 
And once they interview someone or, you know, they have other people, other guests on the show, um, I like to reach out to them and, you know, possibly ask them questions or, you know, try to see if, about uh, partnering up on deals. And that has worked very well for me. So I highly recommend you guys consider that. And um, so you could go back to previous videos. There's over 52 videos now. And you could see um, and reach out to these other um, uh, experienced investors as well. You guys, I am uh, Georgia based as well. So I'm actually in Tucker, Georgia, uh, really close to, to Atlanta proper. And uh, uh, someone else is coming in. Allow me to let them in. And uh, so I highly recommend that uh, you, know, you reach out and uh, we could possibly have either a Zoom meeting or a meeting in person and kind of you know, get to know each other better and see if there's anything that I could do to add value to your lives. Uh, please feel free to follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, and all social media, but especially LinkedIn, uh, because I might be able to refer you to someone else uh, that could take you to the next level, uh, possibly a mastermind group or a guru, if you will, um, or just anyone that could possibly uh, help you in the process. Uh, I am part of a mastermind. One of them is called Strategic Partner Membership, and that's with David Monroe. Uh, for those of you not familiar, David Monroe is a CCIM instructor, and basically that means that um, he could teach on the topic of, of uh, analyzing the markets for real estate and also analyzing deals, uh, since he is an instructor on the topic. Um, I highly recommend that one. It's the least expensive, and you're guaranteed to get a heap of value. Not only that, great networking and uh, partnering opportunities there as well. Um, I like to always say, try to get the word out about what you're doing. I believe in a thought leadership platform, something to this effect, like this meetup, but also host your own meetups, uh, possibly uh, once a month, um, just as a way to kind of let others know what you're doing. And the reason I, I uh, emphasize on that is because I did that and I've been doing that for a while. And I've actually been um, invited as a general partner to raise capital on deals. Um, so all I did was start a thought leadership platform, you know, update my LinkedIn and also get the word out about what I was looking to do. Um, I would say less than a month after like really putting a lot of effort into it. Uh, starting a campaign to do this. Um, I was invited to raise capital on a deal and there was a 240 unit deal in San Antonio, Texas. Um, the deal fell through, but the experience uh, was, you know, second to none. Um, I raised the capital that I was going to raise. Plus I learned um, to start a trust fund. And if you guys need more information, I could definitely give you uh, more info on that as well. So feel free to reach out. So yes, I definitely recommend a thought leadership platform. I definitely recommend a uh, some kind of um, a mentorship program. And like uh, the, the book, um, um, Napoleon Hill book, I can't think of the word now, Think and Grow Rich. It says there about a mastermind. I highly recommend that if there is a mastermind that you join, and the reason why is because two heads are better than one, especially when you're in the same purpose. I think uh, it becomes like a like a stronger force, if you will, and a lot of things start to happen. So, uh, highly recommend a strong mastermind group. All right, so securing capital for your multifamily deals. Uh, as you can see, I do have uh, some experience on the topic. I was actually interviewed on the best ever uh, real estate podcast with Joe Fairless and Ash Patel. And um, on the topic of five tips to boost your online network and find investors with yours truly, Carlos Di Reynoso. Um, the same week, they also interviewed um, Michael Blunt, which you see here on the right-hand side of the screen. A middle right. And when I mentioned guru, what I what I mean to say is, you know, experienced investors, 
that actually have courses and that could help you accelerate uh, your um, and investment. So Michael Blanc is one of those gentlemen that I highly recommend. Uh, he does have a great uh, deal analyzer and um, and it's been very helpful, um, if anything else, to quickly analyze deals. But you could also go deep dive into the analysis with these as well. Um, so again, I was interviewed on the topic of um, networking with investors. Um, I am a co-organizer for this group. I'm also the CEO and founder of Canis Major Investment Capital. That is my investment arm. I'm a managing partner, general partner. And I also, like I mentioned, raised capital on the 240 unit uh, 506 offering in San Antonio, Texas. I've written two books now. The first one is Selling Secrets You Can't Afford to Miss. Basically a book that I wrote to give back to the multifamily, um, I'm sorry, to the single family space um, that's been good to me for so many years. And my last book is um, The Tax and Depreciation Benefits of Investing in Syndications. Um, that one is an ebook and is uh, almost finished. It should be ready. I'm just doing the illustrations for it. Uh, should be ready soon. All right. Um, and here you can see the photo of myself and Ash Patel uh, through the interview. And as you can see, we're both laughing and smiling. It was a lot of fun. If you ever do get the opportunity, I uh, highly recommend that you go on and, and uh, you know get interviewed on this show. It's definitely uh, done a lot to help me as well. All righty. And here I was uh, on the panel of raising capital. So that's another topic uh, that I was able to assist in. I was the moderator. We had great um, experienced investors, Chris Larson and other uh, experienced investors were on there. So with the summits, there's two summits per year. Uh, they're now in person. They used to be virtual. But the reason I bring up the summit is because if you ever get the opportunity to go in the summit, you'll have the recordings. And then you'll also have recordings of the previous summit. So you could see as far back as, I believe, four years worth now. And that's going to be very beneficial when it comes to, uh, you know, getting to know these investors. The multifamily space, it's really a small, small space. It, you know, there's thousands of people, but it's not like you would think like single family. It's a tighter unit. So when you go to these summits, uh, especially this one, Multifamily Investor Nation Summit, what you're going to find is a lot of the investors are going to, you know, are going to be recurring, right? You're going to meet them and then you'll see them having their own uh, platforms. You'll also see them offering you investments. Um, so it's a great place to uh, network with experienced investors. And there's usually um, over 350 investors that show up to these events. Highly recommend it. Again, they used to be virtual. So you could go ahead and get um, the past recordings as well. So if you join um, this year, the one is coming up in next year, the one is coming up in January you'll be able to see as far back as four years. So definitely take a look at that. And for more information, go to multifamilyinvestornationsummit.com. All right, let me see if I can flip this over here. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, this was me uh, moderating for the Raising Capital. And this was January 21st of 2022. My hell, time has flown. All right, so without further ado, this is our content for today, and it's uh, um, securing capital. So there's a investor triad, if you will, and what I've done is saved us some time by um, putting up what the investor triad looks like. Can you guys see a show of hands? Could you see my screen? Awesome. Thank you for that, Joshua. I appreciate that. And uh, so if you look on here, thank you for the thumbs up, everyone. I really appreciate that. Um, so if you look here, the top uh, right of your screen, it says no. The bottom left, it'll say like. And toward the right bottom, it says trust. And that's the investor triad in its simplest form. But what it means is 
before anyone could like you and before anyone could grow to trust you, which are two very important things in this industry, um, they're going to need to get to know you. And hence, that's why I was referring to the thought leadership platform. Um, excuse me for a second while I take a quick sip here. Thank you. Um, so you want to make sure that people get to know you first. So really, the, the no part is the most important part. And that's why I was mentioning the thought leadership platform. So um, you could have a monthly newsletter. That's going to be something that's also going to be beneficial and kind of get the word out. Listen, I'm trying to, you know, I like uh, uh, the gentleman was saying earlier, um, I believe it was Joseph or Elliot, I believe it was. And you're talking about that you have, you know, single family, you have some Airbnb and uh, stuff like that. And now I'm looking to branch out into multifamily. Uh, so using the platforms that you currently have, either your email newsletter or any other platform, you let people know. And uh, once they start getting to know you, they'll feel a little bit more comfortable with you. And if, you know, if they like you, great, then they can move on to the next part. But it's okay if not everyone likes you, not everyone is going to like you. And that's fine. The people who don't like you, that this is not for them, this is not their space, it's, you know, it's okay. There's gonna be so many um, different uh, investor types that you're gonna find your niche, your group, your people. And once you do, that's gonna be like, that's gonna be like your core team and your core uh, people. and. Those are the people, like they say, uh, your vibe is your tribe. Those are the people that you're going to continue growing with. And I have several partners, general partners that I work with. And uh, we've been together now for over four years. And that list continues to grow as you know more and more people find out about what I'm doing. So once you get part past the part of like, then you get to the right-hand side, which is when they start trusting you. And once uh, investors or limited partners start to trust you, they're going to start throwing money into your deals. And that's what eventually we're looking to do in syndications is get uh, investor pool, investor monies uh, to invest in bigger deals, um, thereby allowing the economies of scale, which means if I buy a single family home, that home is vacant, then I, you know, I'm out of my income. There's no profits coming in. But if I buy a hundred unit building and one tenant or one resident moves out, I still have 99 other residents paying the mortgage, if you will. Okay. So the economies of scale help here when you could gather investor uh, funds and use that to buy bigger deals that you normally would not be able to get into on your own. Uh, very important, uh, another thing you can do is host dinners. And these investor dinners, uh, what Dan Hanford does, who's a, a managing partner for PassiveInvesting.com and also the leader of Multifamily Investor Nation, is he'll invite maybe four to eight guests uh, for a nice steak dinner somewhere at a very, uh, very fancy restaurant. And he'll bring four or so investors that uh, have invested already with them and who've had a great experience. And he'll ask them to bring additional people. Um, and he'll also invite, you know, other uh, investors that uh, might be on the fence. And what he does is he'll ask two questions. Uh, what have you really liked about investing with uh, PassiveInvesting.com? You know, tell us about your experience and what you've really uh, enjoyed. And question number two, what didn't you like about investing with multifamily, uh, with PassiveInvesting.com? And what that will do is two, it's twofold. One, it's going to let the investors that are on the fence know the positives about working with you and your, and your investment firm. And the benefits and, you know, the profits and the preferred returns. And secondly, it'll help you to improve on what you're already doing properly so that you could in the future um, uh, 
offer a better product, if you will, and uh, improve so that you could have the absolute best investment platform possible for your investors. What happens is, again, in the part where they like you and then they, they jump over to trust uh, in the investor triad, once they start trusting you, then if you look at the photo here with the gentleman wearing the suit and holding a lot of money in his hand, they start just throwing money at you into your deals and they feel comfortable enough to say, hey, I'm gonna invest 50,000, 100,000. And I've even seen in excess of 250,000 to a million dollars being invested because someone felt the trust. And that's how I was able to start my trust fund is because um, I grew that trust with someone and they felt comfortable enough to say, I have several investors and we would like to go ahead and invest into into what you're doing and hopefully get a syndication a multifamily deal uh and purchase some apartments with you if you will so it's very possible and it, it happens all the time and it just takes a little bit of legwork up front and it does take a little bit of you know letting people get to know you um but eventually you're going to see people that sometimes you you haven't met yet and they're already offering to send you money for your deals. And that's because they've seen your platform. They've seen your videos. They've researched you on LinkedIn. You know, they've asked around and, uh, you know, your reputation will exceed you and they'll start investing money. Uh, so again, those two questions, what do you like about investing with us? And what didn't you like? It's going to be super beneficial. They're going to start investing with you. Um, and then the best part of all this, once they invest with you once, is if you look at the two arrows going from trust to no, the word in between, it'll say referrals. They're going to start referring their friends. And that's what happened with my trust is that one investor liked what I was doing and he had four other partners. They actually invest in hotels and they're looking to get out of hotels and go into apartments. Uh, and so it was enough money that I said, listen, this is enough where I could put into a trust fund and invest through a fund into a syndication. And I could definitely go into that further, uh, but that's the topic for another day because it, it does go further. And uh, quick disclaimer, I'm not an attorney. I'm not a syndication attorney. So you should definitely seek your own uh, uh, um, syndication advice. And always establish a relationship before investing into other people's deals, because that is one of the requirements of the SEC, which is the Securities and Exchange Commission. If you're not familiar, definitely look them up, because those are the people that regulate syndications and securities and exchanges, which could also be things like Bitcoin and uh, other properties. An investor newsletter, like I mentioned, uh, is very important because you could send one uh, through email. You could also do um, regular mail, which Passive Investing does. Um, basically, they'll send you a magazine once a month and give you like updates on their investments, um, opportunities to invest in their deals. And with Passive Investing, they also invest in uh, storage units car washes, and they also have a fund as well. And I believe uh, a, a lending arm as well. So definitely look into passive investing, find out more about uh, what they're doing. Uh, that's gonna be helpful. And it'll also give you examples on the investor newsletter they send out once a month. And it is more costly, you know, there's this beautiful, it's like a beautiful magazine. Uh, I'm sure that's very expensive but it's definitely worth the while I've seen uh, since the time they started to now. And they've pretty much gone from like zero to, I believe now over four, uh, is it? Yeah. 4,000 units under management. Uh, so that's billions of dollars we're talking about there. So definitely uh, reach out to them. They will reach out to you, but I definitely want you to look further into it because um, success leaves clues. And these people are very successful. Uh, Dan is my personal mentor. I look up to uh, him and what passive investing does. 
And that's exactly the blueprint of what I want to do. So I suggest, uh, you know, you guys do what I'm doing is, you know, follow the clues, if you will. Uh, so raising money, you know, you definitely want to always be raising capital, you know, let people know what you're doing, but also, um, you know, have like, uh, like, uh, appointments that you set up throughout the week, throughout the month where you actually meet investors online or zoom or in person and let them know, Hey, listen, if I get a deal that looks like X, Y, Z with these type of profits, uh, you know, these type of preferred returns, this internal rate of return, IRR, um, or this cash on cash, would you be interested in these deals? And if they say yes, then you could further take them to your website and have a website where they could put in their soft commitments. And these soft commitments are basically uh, the investor saying, yes, look, I have uh, this amount of money that I'm looking to invest in your deals. And what they'll do is they'll enter, you know, fill out a form. And in that form, it'll go straight to you. And then once you have the soft commitment, once you find a deal, then you could say, listen, remember you said, you know, you wanted to put 50,000. Here's a deal. You'll have a webinar. That webinar, you go into further detail, but they'll be able to directly deposit that soft commitment, which will make it a hard commitment and go straight into your deal. Obviously, you definitely want to establish a relationship with them. And uh, what I'll do is I'll pause for a second. Uh, I see some of you might have some questions. And if you will, show of hands, you know, just let me know if you have any questions. Um, if not, we're almost done here. And then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and open it up for Q&A. And we'll also have breakout rooms for more uh, networking opportunities. Uh, so timeline and dates, very important. You don't want to give timeline. So, you know, within 30 days, we're going to be uh, accepting your soft commitments within 15 days. You know, you, your commitment has to go hard. You really want to give exact dates and say, listen, on July 15, your soft commitments must be in by, uh, by July 30th, we'll have our due diligence completed and our closing should be somewhere along the lines of August 15. And that's pretty much the timeline that, that happens on these deals. Usually it's 30-day uh, increments. It's usually a 90-day process or less. Uh, the more experience you get, the quicker those deals go. Uh, but you definitely want to set up. It's not like single family that you could just do, you know, 30 days or less. Um, you know, I've been an agent for over 24 years. Um, so, you know, I've seen deals that all cash and we can close in seven days. Those are great. Uh, but even if you have all cash here, you're not going to be closing in 30 days. There's just uh, too much due diligence that has to, to take place. Uh, there's a lot of legwork, a lot of forms and, you know, inspections that are very important. And so there is definitely a good timeline. Speaking of increments, if you ever do request um, an extension, they're usually extensions are usually 15 to 30 days. So sometimes you'll find that uh, the lender might have taken longer um, to get, you know, all the ducks aligned, and that's going to take a little bit longer. So you'll ask, you'll request an extension. Sometimes the seller is going to want you to actually uh, have some kind of consideration if you're trying to extend. So I've seen them uh, require $50,000 additional uh, for an extension. So if at all possible, try to avoid extensions, uh, but they're there if you ever need them for sure. So that's go off of dates, exact dates and not timeframes. All right, that concludes uh, the topic, securing capital for your multifamily deals, not the same as raising capital. Next month's topic is gonna be performing due diligence on your multifamily deal. It's uh, intensive um work to do a lot of people involved a lot of inspections uh a lot of forms there's a few books that i highly recommend i don't have them with me uh currently here but i do uh suggest you go back to my previous videos 
and uh, you'll see the uh, best ever real estate investing um, book again from Joe Fairless and Theo Hicks. <laughs> Excuse me. That's the one that I was referring to um, that he's mentioned thought leadership platform. He also has 10 uh, of the most important forms that you'll need in the due diligence process. And the book is really thick. Um, I highly recommend it. I call it like the uh, syndication Bible, if you will. Um, it'll take you a few readings to complete. Definitely take notes on that one. Um, but that's going to be a very important uh, book to kind of get your feet wet. And it's kind of give you an idea of what you can expect and how to prepare. So I highly recommend that book. Another book I highly recommend, and not just because it's mine, but it's a good sales book is the um, Selling Secrets You Can Afford to Miss. Again, you could see the link in my previous videos on YouTube. And the book by Rob Beardsley on uh, how, to, how to analyze deals properly. I don't have the name with me, but go back to the YouTube. And uh, Rob Beardsley is his name. And the great thing about that book is not only is it a great book to help you um, learn how to analyze deals, but it also gives you a free deal analyzer included in the book. So it's a great bonus to have. That deal analyzer is basically the, the original blueprint, if you will, with some additional, um, um, I guess, you know, Excel spreadsheet stuff. I don't really know the terminology for it uh, that uh, Rob and his group has, have added over the years. So it's it's going to save you a lot of time. So I highly recommend those three books. Uh, one is for sales. One is for multifamily syndications. And the other one is for analyzing deals. Definitely take a look at those three. And uh, now we'll go ahead and open it up for any questions. Here's my uh, contact info. Again, thank you for joining us live from Cebu, Philippines. Beautiful island in the Philippines. And... Um, We'll open up for any questions you guys might have. Feel free now to unmute and just ask your questions directly. Thank you, guys. All right. So I might have uh, done a great job of explaining everything there. So I appreciate that. Um, Joshua, please feel free. If you have any questions or anyone else, please feel free to ask. Uh, sure. So you mentioned a little bit about... Um having a website for investors, would that be an investor portal? And what all would what all would that encompass? That's a great question. So one of the things, uh, one of the ones that I use is Apartment Syndication Pro. And the reason I like that one is because it's uh, very inexpensive. I like to, you know, save money whenever possible. Uh, but also it was highly recommended to me from the Strategic Partnership Group. Uh, again, I highly recommend it because there's things like that that you don't find out until you're part of a mastermind or, you know, you have other people that, that reach out. Um, so one of the things, you know, you definitely want to give a little quick bio about yourself and your company. You're also going to have the soft commitment forms. Um, so it's a great place for the investor to look. And if they like what they see, they're going to definitely be able to soft commit right off your website. I uh, highly recommend that because from there, um, like I mentioned before, the investors soft committed with me. We, you know, we had a couple of Zoom meetings. We met for lunch, Chipotle over there on Pleasant Hill, to be specific. And uh, from there, I started a fund because, you know, I was able to get so much capital from that one investor that it was enough to say, hey, I could be my own. I could raise capital on my own deals now. Um, so have a soft commitment form there. Uh, the one that I mentioned, uh, Apartment Syndication Pro, it's a cookie cutter site, right? But you could always edit it, you know, and add to it in, in the future. And it works off of WordPress. Um, and a quick bio, and then kind of like talk about the managing partners, their bios as well, as well and your past experience, Joshua. You want to let them know uh, your experience in real estate, what you and your partners have done, and what you're looking to do in the in the space. 
So that's an awesome question. Thank you for, for that. Um, and I could show you an example. It, again, if you go to apartment syndication pro, you could just put forward slash Canis major investment capital like you see here. And that's my site. And it's also going to be a good, uh, a good example for you as well. Great question. Thank you for that. How, how, how would you go about like, uh, you know, like setting that up? Like, I mean, I guess that would be basically called the, the investor portal that, you know, investors yeah. would go on, they would see the deals that they want, you know, if they want to invest with you or not, like, how, how do you go, like, how would you go about setting that up? Or is it just like, you know, just setting up the website or who, who would I have to speak to, to, um, you know, set that up, say per se, if I had a deal you know, theoretically speaking, you know, right now, and I wanted to, you know, set up like an investor portal, how would I do that? Okay, yeah, so that, that's a little bit more intensive. So what you want to do is you want to first, you, you're kind of, you're kind of going to have to go back a little, right? A few steps okay. backward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the first thing you really want to have is you want to have people get to know you, right, like right. The, the investor triad, uh, because in real estate, like I mentioned, a syndication uh, exchange commission, you can't just um, offer your deal to everyone. So there's yeah, yeah, restrictions. Of course, of course. Right, right. But let's say all that being said and all that being considered, uh, let's say you're ready to go. You have a deal and you go, my God, how do I bring this deal to all my uh, current investors that do know me and that we do have an established relationship? Mm -hmm. And that would that would be a 506B offering, if you will. Mm -hmm. So if you do have a platform like this, you could send out a, a, a newsletter or an email and let people know, hey, listen, I have a deal. Give them the details of the deal through email and let them know, I'll, you know, we'll be having a webinar on such date. Um, and, and that webinar, we're going to go into further detail about the deal. And in that webinar, um, by then you already have your investor portal or at the very least your website, but I would say your investor portal and there's different portals you could use. Uh, Invest Next is one, uh, Investor Portal is another, and there's a couple more. Um, but uh, so once you have the webinar, you'll have links where they could click on the links and go straight to either the webinar video or um, to soft commit. And once they're soft committed and you have that investor portal, throughout the portal, there's also ways for them to hard commit, which would mean, Timothy, that they invest their money directly into, um, you know, your um, your um, your bank, if you will, or your, mm -hmm. you know, wherever it is that you have the, the funds available to invest in, which would be through the portal itself. So you definitely have to have a portal before you get to the webinar and before getting to the webinar, you have to have, you know, reached out to them first. Right. 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 Of course. Yeah. yeah. They will build that relationship. Yeah, so, exactly. So there, you know, there's pre steps, but yeah, once you have the investor portal, the great thing is the investor portal, like handles all that for you. Plus right. I know that you all, you're also going to have um, like a support team from the portals that you use, whatever company you decide to use, that those companies are gonna tell you, okay, look, uh, they're gonna have to wire transfer. So they're gonna give you the wiring instructions and the money's gonna go straight from one bank wired over electronically to the, the bank that's holding the deal. And you'll definitely wanna have an LLC established uh, limited liability company because that's where the funds will be going and that's where the investment is going to start off from. So Absolutely. great question Thank you for asking. Definitely makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. All righty. Uh, anybody else have questions? And if not, uh, let's go ahead and try to see if we could stop share here and go out into the breaker rooms. That way we'll have another opportunity to get to know each other and network a little bit. Bear with me for just a sec. Stop share. And I believe they moved it to here. Uh -huh. 
Right. Uh, on that note, I don't want to be rude, but I, I scheduled myself for a 7 p.m. Zoom meeting at another. I have to, to bail out and hop in that call. So I appreciate you guys. I took notes and I'll be definitely reaching out. I appreciate your time. I appreciate that. Thank you and have a great time. Hey, you guys Thank too. you so much. All right.